Hi guys, it's Pikali Gaming, and welcome to the first episode of Splatoon in 2016. Nice squid is spazzing out. All right. Um, so I've been playing some ranked battles with these w wonderful people that I don't know, and. So what's been happening is I've been getting on a win streak and stuff. My win streak was 17.5, so hot, and I turned it into Judd. Does Judd have any, anything else to say to me? Well, I did get a so hot rating. So, um, in that so hot rating, I got it mainly. Be oh yeah, Super Bowls tonight. Not another varsity jacket. Let me talk to her. Oh nope, it's a different kind of. Sapping mate. Hang on, love. Think I smell something. You got some super sea snails on ya. Could you maybe give me those? You know how their shells have the, these lo those little lids on them. I can use those to add new slots to your gear. I don't need the lids myself. See, it's just the juicy, gooey stuff on the inside that I fancy. The more sl slots you got, the more abilities you can have. Just trust me, yeah. So how's about it? You want to give me some of your those super sea snails so I can add slots to your gear? Um, I'll look in your orders. Oh yeah, that's right. He trashed my stuff because I couldn't get thirty-five grand in in a, in. Yeah, so I came in during Splatfest and I for. Wait, this guy reminds me of Charles. <laughs> Fat Camden? What's that supposed to mean? Um, so yeah, I've been on a win streak. I've been trying out some new web For the past hour, I have just been playing with the same people over and over. I'd rather, I've been in the same room. This girl. She's like my twin sister. Except she has blue hair. <laughs> anyway. Um, I've been trying out the null someone no near me. I... I pursue them with my, um, Kraken powers. Hey, it's nice to see you again, Squid Girl. Ooh, wait, wait. I think I... I think I ordered from you. Wait! I just realized I have the same hat as her right now. But, um, there's some stuff that I wanted to buy from these shops. Mainly because, um... Um... So, um, I'm just gonna get this one, cause it's three so I'm not gonna equip it, sorry. Still leveling up this guy on the head. Um, and we, I already went to Sheldon's earlier. I don't remember his name, but, um, we do have cold-blooded and on. Um, white inky rock. I prefer leveling up my own stuff, cause sometimes Sk Spike can make it extremely expensive sometimes sometimes not saying he always does but okay yeah just time to make a bit more money get more gear options yeah I've been I haven't been using my um wait I mean I'm wearing my I'm wearing the shirt oh I am wearing the shirt but did I finish leveling it up cuz I don't oh <gasps> that inkling girl I'm sorry, I had to make a weird noise. I'm sorry, so sorry. Oh, I have internet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change the, my inklings clothes back into the varsity jacket that I have. Um, we can level up this white anchor tee later. Use it for hide and seek, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh my god, I like these shoes. No wonder I bought them. So obviously I'm just going to be leveling up stuff this episode, nothing really special, but I guess I'll show you guys the Neos Blossomatic, or maybe um, the Octobrosso Val, because I brought that. Um, what else did I buy? I bought the Dynamo Roller, I'm pretty sure. Carbon Roller, yeah, this one. Um, but I guess I can try to use this one, I haven't used... Because rollers, from my experience, they worked well on Port Mackerel, but I don't know if it still applies to 2.5 sp Splatoon. So I'm just going to go ahead and join the lobby. I'm sorry, this is kind of a slow episode, but be patient with me. I like, I wanted to play Splatoon again and see, I just want to grab a lot of gear, you know, because like, it gets boring without getting new gear and additions. Oh crud, I messed up on that squid. Sorry, I was messing up on Squid Jump a lot. 
So, we're just waiting for a battle to join. Hopefully the internet doesn't go whack. And I'm, yeah, you can see my so hot rating. It's 17.5, but I think that's because I was kind of picking on weak people. So, man, I feel bad for that level 6 J named Jacob because it's like 50, 50, 30, 39, 46. Okay. Time for the battle. I'm pretty sure my battle rating is going to go down from this. But hey, we're experiencing new weapons. And Neo's Watch Matic is pretty good. I, I like it because it controls similarly to Arrow Spray RG. And I like the specials on this weapon. So uh, I'm just going to let these people go in front of me. And then I'm just going to do this around my base. And now that I see what kind of route they are taking, I am going to go through here. Now, you know what pisses me off in Platoon? Okay, so you know how, like, like how, like, there's, like, different routes that you can take for your inkling, right? So, the thing is, is that sometimes people, they take the same route as you, and it really pisses me off, because if you have something like opening gambit like I do, it's gonna suck, because... I like the speed of the carbon roller. I mean, it was pretty good when I tested it, but I think the Neo Splush Matic is probably going to be better. Um, I haven't played it with a roller for a while, so please forgive me if this playstyle is not something that um, a roller player should ideally do. Although, I do like. Dang, son. Let me just wait. Okay. Let's go through, and I am going to go ahead. What the heck is going on? Okay, please forgive me for whatever weird derp stuff that I'm doing right now, because, like, I'm playing with higher level people. <laughs> oh my god, so I got the story to tell you on Port Macro that happened, but obviously I wasn't recording because I was rendering a video, but... So what happened was, so I was using the Neo's Blushomatic, which, you know, would be... And that would mean... The old matic means you get Kraken, right? And then there's this dude in front of me that I thought, oh, he's going to hit me and stuff. So I did the Kraken. And he also did the Kraken. And we were just chasing each other. And you know what's weird? I ran into this guy. Well, not at, while I was, like, I, but while I was pursuing him, he d jumped into me. And then I died. And I'm like, what? But I'm still a Kraken. What the heck does this mean? So I was, like, really confused and such. So I was getting really ticked off. So, I'm surprised no one said anything to me. Like, no, not anything. Uh, not like I thought. No, I thought they haven't like fall. But um, anyway, so like, uh, yeah, I jumped in. I tried jumping into them, but then their jump killed me, and yet we were both Krakens. Okay, and there's this one time, so I was pursuing this guy, and he had a splat roller, and then what happened was I was I pursuing him, yeah? And then what happened was, after, while I was pursuing him, um, I, oh my god, I just realized how much special, oh my god, I just realized how much abilities of the same abilities my thing has, I am not, you know, ah! oh my god, I almost dropped my gamepad, so yeah, that's what happened, I'm sorry I'm being so awkward and weird right now, but, you know, I'm weird. Let's leave the room before people get to like, Oh, Pika, you suck. Oh, my God. Hey, I didn't do the worst. That guy died. That guy died less. That, that guy died more than me. But I got a kill. So, yeah. Um, so. Oh. Oh. I was looking at someone else's gear. And they had like so much of the same thing. So, anyway. I'm going to have to like change my weapon now. So, that's Carbon Roller. Um. It seemed, I like the speed of it, but it's not something that appeals to me. Um, which one did I want to do? I'm not, I already have arrow spray. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth so much, but please, I just want to pick a good weapon in. Okay, so I'm going to try to show off the Octobrush. I believe this is also one of the things that I brought. Wait. Okay. That's the right Octobrush. Um, because I got two Octobrushes next to it, and it's making me confused. Um... I'm just playing Squid Jump right now. So, how's your guys, um, 
How have you guys been doing lately? Um, have you guys gotten a chance to play on Ancho V games yet? Because I have not yet played on it, but it's pretty cool because it incorporates stuff from the single player version that you usually don't get to see in the multiplayer maps because it's mainly in multiplayer maps, it's mainly just you playing multiplayer, you know, just, just hanging out with your friend, just inking it up and such. So, yeah, and I died. And this, okay, so we have. It's more equally matched. I like equally matched stuff because the only reason I got so hot, and the last time I got so hot, was because, not because of my skill, but how good I am at, ex at killing lower level people. Yes, that's literally the only reason. So, anyway, we got. I honestly think that my inkling it looks the best. I honestly think my inkling out outfit looks the best in light blue ink. Um. Wait, what ink color was I last time? I forgot. But anyway, um. I like I like to do different routes from people because if if that's if I use like um oh my god there was this tri slot there was like a slosher weapon that I wanted to get you know how is this guy noticing me I don't want to be noticed by senpai we just pretend I never said anything okay. Thank you. And to be honest, that is kind of good timing, though. Good use of the bubbler weapon. Very, not weapon, but, you know, the special. You know what I'm trying to talk about. Come on. Disruptor slows me down. I've nipped. That was the first time I saw ever anyone ever use a disruptor in battle. Which is pretty nice, because I don't like seeking. I hate it whenever teams use, like, the same family of weapons all the time. Like, you know, when you just see, like, a bunch of rollers on one team or a bunch of shooters on one team. Well, not shooters, I mean, snipers! Yeah, I kind of got scared for a moment because, um, yeah, I'm just experimenting and the only good weapon that I bought from today's shopping spree was, um, the Neo Neo Splashomatic. Because you don't have to button mash anything. It's just one of those standard shooter weapons. And I honestly think those kind of weapons are what the ideal player wants. Because rollers have issues climbing up walls. Um, and it, and with, um, whatchamacallit, ink brushes being um, a sub, an unofficial subclass of the... Oh, crap. My aim is that. Cool. I got two people using the Tentatex Splatter Shot. And it kind of makes me irritated because of that, but... I like having weapon diversity because... Weapon diversity is pretty good in making sure that a team is able to function, in my opinion. So obviously, I'm just goofing around with this Octobrush. I'm like, willingly let, letting myself get killed. My god, that guy has a lot of that one ability. That's not good at all, because... Now, um, might not have a discussion on Splatoon, if Splatoon had a sequel, which is most likely going to happen in the near future. Not sure when the near future is, but I honestly think that in Splatoon 2, the sequel to Splatoon, I honestly think it would be... Maybe it could... Because with Splatoon, um, the courses switch every four hours, which... And there's only, like, two courses available per game mode. So I think it would be a good idea if, um... Splatoon can... Yeah, I obviously did the work, but deal with it. I killed more people than... I can't pronounce his name, but... So, essentially what I'm trying to say is... In Splatoon... If Splatoon had a sequel... I honestly think it would be better if... If you could... Pick the courses that you want to do... From... Like, maybe you can do it like Mario Kart 8. Like, um, three... There's like three course there's like three course options and one random. Like maybe like that. Maybe that would that could have that would have been better because it would have been and I would also request for switching weapons between lobbies because Oh you have no idea 
how irritating it can be. I mean, let's say you want it. I mean, Turf War is the mode where you use different weapons and such for. Like, that's when you experiment your combat styles, etc., etc. But. I died, by the way. If you couldn't tell by me singing. But obviously, my so hot rating is probably going to go down. But that is okay because it will be fixed. It should go down to the rating I d should deserve, which is a very, very low rating. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm kind of tired, but. Uh, this is just a chill laid back episode. You know, this is just me getting back into the groove of recording Splatoon. So, to be honest, wait! Some other dude was also using the Neo. <gasps> I'm not the only one who likes this weapon. Yeah, like, Aerospray RG is one of those popular weapons as well. It's like, because it ha does have one of the fastest fire rates of all the main weapons that you shoot. I think it does have. I think Aerospray RG is the weapon with the highest. Um, highest um, fire rate, but I'm not exactly sure about that. If someone can confirm that, that would be good too. No! Come on. Get up there. I honestly don't see um, shooters like, like scopes like that. You know, like the kind of long range. I don't usually see long range stuff used in turf war. I mean, it is good. It is a useful. Um, it is a useful weapon type, but I honestly think it's better off suited in rank battles of all things because. Let me just clean up this guy's sloppy work, whoever did this route, but... No, it's just really me beating the water. Oh! Wait, I got... Oh my god. I thought I had, um... A freak! Okay, because I thought that I had, um... I was using the other weapon that I was using, so... Yeah, I was, like, freaking out there. But... I honestly think... There should be a- I honestly think that in, a, in addition to being able to switch your weapon between lobbies and such Like what- like let's say if they implement the system of You getting to pick three um, courses, right? Th three, for a selection of three courses From the three cor three three available cor three courses and one random Maybe Maybe you They would let you pick your weapon after that Like maybe they maybe they should just like let you pick your weapon after the course is picked so that way you can because some obviously you may know some weapon some weapons do better than other weapons in certain situations like if it's a very cluttered map obviously snipers won't do as well as they should they would in other maps like open kind of maps or if there's like a lot of plat- or if it's something like Black Belly Skate Park If it's something like Black Belly Skate Park That- which is not suited for rollers at all Maybe they could have- Maybe they could let you pick the weapon after they know what course you're being- getting- is getting picked And then maybe you can pick your gear around that Similarly to how the way um, private rooms work But this is more like- I'm talking about like when you do online battles And maybe- in Splatoon 2, maybe you could um have local battles because local doesn't really have that much to do, in my opinion. Which is really sad. Yeah, local multiplayer in Splatoon kind of sucks, but it's it's but it's um Nintendo's first time working on this IP, so it it should be expected that there are some stuff that need to be added in, and I believe that there should also be a. I think it would be cool if you could like change your hairstyle. I mean, I understand that they wanted to make it so that way the inkling was recognizable among the 
players and non the not the people that don't play Splatoon, like have the tr this as be their traditional hairstyle, which I think is really cool. But I think it would be cool to see some different kinds of hairstyles to give players more customization to it. I'm not saying that the current hairstyles are bad. Well, the girl one is nice. The guy hairstyle is just what is it? Like, sometimes you know, you may know some guys that play as a girl inkling. I know some of my friends did. Okay, yeah, you're going that route? Okay, I'll go this route because no one's taking it. A lot of people forget to do that when, like, this midsection, and I don't know why, because it's turf war. Every piece counts. I'm not saying you should be OCD about it or anything, but still. Awesome. I swear I saw someone. Okay, it's gonna run out, so run up here, hit this, and then go up here. I know some of you may be sick of watching Splatoon, but oh, I saw someone. I saw someone. Don't think that I'm. Go ahead and try to hit me if you're able. You know my determin. You mean you know your determination isn't safe. <laughs> See. My determination is unstable. I'm sorry. I wanted to reference Undertale somehow, but oh well. Um, is it? Like, I don't know why, but on both of my screens. Okay, so I I can see. Okay, so obviously we have. Um, you may not know what my setup is, but here, I'll give you a general go, go down on it. So essentially, my setup is an Elgato HD capture card. Um. Obviously, it's not 60 frames per second, but it can do retro gaming, and it can capture in 1080p, so, um, and there's also the HD60 Pro that came out recently. I learned that from Kaifresh Squid Power, who is awesome. He has good Gmod, and I like his Gmod and SFM pictures. They're, like, really cool and stuff, so go ahead and check him out. Maybe I'll, I'll probably link, I'll link his, yeah! I'll link his DeviantArt in the description because he's really good at that kind of stuff and I appreciate, um, I appreciate the community of Deviant. Ah! How did, hey good sir, since when could you get a, I should have gone over, I should have tried, what? Okay, I think that might have been a live kill but, um, so I was gonna like say earlier that the ink, the way the purple or Whatever color this ink color is, because I can't tell what it is, it looks different on my laptop screen and my computer screen. No wait, let me rephrase that. My laptop screen and the TV screen. And the laptop shares the same color purple as the one on my gamepad, which is really confusing me at this point, because I'm not sure what color. Ah! Good job, Neo Spoosh. Oh, you're just a sploosh matic Are you like the Giselle from... Alright, um, obviously we're kind of being spawn camp at this moment. The only thing, the best thing that we can do is just fight back. And... Yeah, the sploosh matic I like it a lot. It can be... I like sometimes, I like having, um... I like having... No, well, that obviously, we obviously know who's gonna win, right? I think that with um, the Splatoon Matic, I like its fire rate a lot. It's a really good weapon, but I honestly think that um, what makes this one good, in my opinion, is it's special because it can allow you to escape easily, and I like that because sometimes it's just you you're in a battle, right? With an inkling, and then, or usually, you may not, you are probably, uh, I can't speak anymore. I don't know what to talk about. But, um, yeah, so my questions for this video are, um, when, it, when Splatoon were to have a sequel, what would you want? Like, what would you want to see? What do you expect from it? And if you want, you can see what platform it's going to be on, what kind of mechanics you're expecting, or... The only thing I'm worrying about is, like, Nintendo not being able to take your ideas, because, like, it's, like, 
Cause like they might get so so, so blah blah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, the, the, you see that blue? That's that's the color that my that's the color that, that I look good in this outfit. I'm not saying that pink is an ugly color. I like pink a lot, as you may know from my first few Splatoon videos. But yeah, I have opening gambit, which I like opening gambit in the first 30 seconds. But once first 30 seconds are over, it's like very useless because for one thing. 30 seconds only last once. So you're only gonna get this bonus for like the first 30 seconds of the battle and The one thing that you have to be careful with the Kraken though The one thing that you have to be careful with the Kraken though is make sure you don't lure yourself into the grate because if you do that you're gonna be kind of screwed because if you fall if they lure if they successfully lure you into a grate that falls down into the middle of nowhere then you're gonna lose that special and Giselle killed me oh man what level can you get these weapons at that's just like special medic's very good weapon I I have to praise it for what it has done for me when I was picking on lower level people. I did that before. I'm tempted to paint the tree, but I don't want to. I'm like, nah. Yeah, so as you may see by my Kraken, um, opening gambit only works for the first 30 seconds. It, may it doesn't increase your stamp. Excuse me, but you're supposed to get up there. I'm not talking to you, Kurodasan. Yeah, but, um, it only works for the first 30 seconds of battle, and it's not very useful afterwards because you could use something like Ninja Squid more or Stealth Jump because I honestly think that those abilities would be better. I mean, they, those two abilities are very good abilities. It's just that once the first 30 seconds are over, that but Billy doesn't have anything good for you anymore. Oh, oh! I was slain by a crack on splat roller. I don't know. I can't get back into the place out of rollers. I can't really handle the how um snipers work. Okay, retreat. What? Oh, I died from him. Okay. Okay, let's go get that guy's um, ink straight and clean it up because no one likes to see that on their base. You just wanna. I honestly wanna try like try out more of the more. Of... Oh come on! Oh my God! I barely, I barely escaped, guys. Giselle didn't kill me. Neener, neener, neener. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm sorry for that. I'm like. <gasps> But that's the end of this episode. I think I'm probably losing my voice, so I'm gonna record some Wooly World and stuff. I did the best on my team without no. Why? And I leveled up. Let's see what kind of abilities in store. Please no. Okay. 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 That's it for today's episode of Splatoon. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, go check out Kai Fresh Squid Power because he is good at the G mod and S uh, SFM stuff. And go ahead and comment below on Splatoon the sequel if it had one. Bye, guys.